hello guys and welcome to a new video i'm sorry you had to hear my ugly voice again but today's video is an important video because it's my first gameplay video in season 9 so it will be a gameplay video with some tips along the way and with the new changes and nerfs i had to come up with a new tactic for myself to win solo vs squads games so i think i played around 15 games so far and i found the best way to win games this season which is mid-range fights combined with perfect positioning and you will see some squad wipes examples in this video using this tactic now i'm not saying that close range fights are useless you can still fight in close range and win games but it's too risky mainly for three reasons the first one of course is the big hipfire nerf and having to use ads even at three to five meters away which is in my opinion dumb and unrealistic even for a game the second reason is the increased amount of defender class users now the reason for that because they have a big advantage now in previous seasons even if you get blinded by a defender class user you can still try and kill them using hip fire but in this season with the hip fire nerf it's almost impossible to do that and your best option is to try to run away and dodge their bullets and pray that they have bad aim the third and final reason is the trap master users even after they nerfed trap master this season there are still a lot of trap master users actually i noticed that there is more trap master users this season compared to the last season so all of these reasons together makes close range fights way too risky and i think mid range fights will be better and more guaranteed way to win fights in this season so i landed in circus and surprisingly no one else landed here and i hit the jackpot as i found e golden ak-47 which is by the way one of the best mid to long range guns this season and i highly recommend that you make a low recoil build for it in the gunsmith if you want to increase your chances in finding golden weapons then you need to drop in a high loot areas which are highlighted in orange in the minimap this confirms what i said about the increased number of trap master users to the point where you can't even upgrade your chip in peace as most players place their traps at the upgrade terminals i'm not really sure what this guy was trying to do here i tried to destroy the chopper but i was too late so i killed his teammate instead I waited for him for a bit just in case he comes back for his teammates and guess what he did Airdrop has been delivered the revived flight will arrive in one minute that's what you get for taking my chopper but now i have to run all the way to the farm This is the first example of mid-range fights and perfect positioning. So I knocked two players here. This is the first one and that's the second one. Then a chopper comes in. At first I wanted to fight because I thought it was one but then I saw the second player jumping out of the helicopter. So at this point I wasn't sure if it's the same squad or if it was another squad so the safest option for me was to retreat and reposition myself and prepare for a fight i use this house a lot when i'm in this area it's perfect as a cover and all the players around you will be visible and in the open which makes them an easy kill if you played PUBG mobile before then you might be familiar with this tactic which is shooting like that pretending you're a bot or busy fighting someone else just to bait them to rush you so that you can catch them in the open and kill them easily see how his body is fully exposed and mine is secure behind this cover plus the fact that it will take them a long time to locate me and react
In case you don't know, Boltergeist got a buff this update which makes the user completely invisible for the first 2 seconds before they become slightly visible. Here is the second example of perfect positioning. So in Sanitarium there are two spots that I really really love. The first spot is this one as it gives you good vision and when you're in trouble you can just go prone to take cover. So here I was scanning the roof for enemies and once I realized they are inside the building I moved to my next favorite spot which is this one. This spot over here is insane. You can pretty much see everyone inside the sanitarium at the same time no one expects you to be there and again whenever you're in trouble you can just go prone or jump and fly outside the building Again, another helicopter comes in and I noticed that it's a full squad. Remember the tip from last video where I told you facing a full squad at once is a really bad idea? Well, now it's even worse. I had no other choice but to reposition myself and wait for the enemies to split apart and then take them out one by one. See how easy it is to wipe squads with the perfect positioning and if I fought them in the start when they were together then I would have been dead for sure. So plan your attacks wisely, try to find perfect tactical spots in buildings like the ones I showed in sanitarium, then wait for the right moment to engage when the enemies are divided. Now some of you might say the enemies are noobs. I wouldn't say they're the best but they are definitely not the worst, they just didn't know what hit them. Same as the last example. They weren't expecting me to be there on top of the house. So here someone destroyed my helicopter. I checked and I saw him shooting at another enemy squad. In this case, I know that there is a squad near the houses there and another squad at the hill. So the best option in this case is to kill the squad in the hill first because they have the high ground and they are in a better position and if I choose to go to the squad near the houses then I'll be exposed to the squad in the hill which means I will have to deal with two squads at once and we definitely don't want that
Now that I killed the hill squad, I'm safe to engage the other squad at the houses. But before I went in, I spent some time checking if there are other squads behind me because this hill right here is a very good tactical spot. And if another squad comes in from here while I'm busy fighting the house squad, then I'll be in trouble. Here I saw someone using an airborne, so now I have to keep checking the sky and keep an eye on him. I saw him land on my left and since I'm in a perfect position already, all I had to do is bait him using the same tactic I used earlier by pretending that I'm fighting someone here. The main reason for this is the recoil nerf as it's harder to kill enemies at long range this season so use this tactic to get your enemies to a good range to secure the kill and to make sure they don't have any chances of running away notice that he hit me once only and again that's because i had cover and i only exposed my head and shoulders just to be able to shoot while his entire body was exposed to me and with the recoil nerf it's even harder for him to hit me that's why i said this mid-range positioning tactic is the best for this season i checked the remaining players and i only saw one player left so i tried to bait him too but apparently he wasn't around and on top of that this guy actually managed to revive two of his teammates so all of a sudden i was one versus three I saw one of them landing near me so I rushed them before they get weapons but then I decided to take it easy and avoid getting killed by Trapmaster. I already learned from my mistakes not to rush in the final circle. I saw this player but I didn't engage because I would have exposed my position while being outside the safe zone. Plus the fact that he has a level 3 vest which means it will take a long time to kill him and I'll be vulnerable to his teammates. So instead I went to the zone and I picked them off one by one because now they have to worry about the zone from one side and me on the other side which gives me an advantage. I hope you guys find this useful and again please don't get me wrong you can win games with close range fights. I myself won a lot of games with close range fights but there are many times where I died to defender users and trap master users plus the other changes like not being able to choose our own attachments so sometimes you get a weapon with a 3x scope and it takes 10 years to open the scope and aim at your enemy which can get you killed easily. So mid range fights is the way to go for now combined with perfect positioning. Honestly I don't think it will remain like this, it's the first gunsmith update so I don't expect it to be perfect and I believe they will balance things out next update according to the player's feedback. And remember you're not the only one struggling with this update, almost everyone is struggling, just keep practicing and you will get used to it. See you guys in the next video, peace.